Technology is moving backwards. Well, crotch cooling technology, that is. Having reviewed hundreds of cars on my channel, I noticed lots of design trends that came and went over the last few decades. Pop-up headlights, power seat belts, and hood ornaments are some that I've touched on in the past. But the most controversial has to be the crotch vent. Bring back crotch vent. Most cars back in the day used to come with a climate control vent underneath the steering column specifically to heat and cool the driver's nether regions. They were most popular from the 70s to the 90s, when air conditioning was still a very nice option and not standard across vehicle lineups. They were glorious. They were beautiful. They were necessary. So why did they go away? Well, I have a couple of theories. First, modern AC is better at circulating air. Back in the 1970s and 80s, air conditioning was often a higher option and added later, so it was its own system and used different vents. For instance, look at this late 1970s Ford F-250. It didn't come with AC from the factory, so it had these plates covering where the AC vents would have gone. Because of this, in older cars, all the air conditioning comes at you from the dashboard, straight at your face and body. So, a crotch cooling vent made a lot of sense. AC is more common these days, and in the States, you really can't get a car without some form of AC. Paired with the ventilated seats being pioneered by Saab in the late 90s, car makers don't see much of a point anymore. I personally do, but the car makers don't seem to care. The second reason is safety. Let me explain. Safety restrictions got tighter every year. In the 1990s, the government began requiring airbags and collapsible steering columns. Taking a steering wheel to the face is never pleasurable. Because of this, car makers had so much tech stuffed into the steering column that there isn't much real estate left for the crotch cooler. A shame, I know but I guess I'd rather be a little warm than experience this. Yikes. Third, and the most damning evidence I could find. From all the reports, articles, parts sheets, and videos I could find, crotch vents seemed to vanish from vehicles designed after 2002. And of course, at the same time, something shook the country. A cinematic masterpiece so riveting that automakers felt the population had experienced so much joy that the only response would be to remove the crotch coolers to balance the morale of the public. That catalyst was... Spy Kids 2, The Island of Lost Dreams, starring the legendary Steve Buscemi. <clears throat> All I can say for sure is that they're gone. Modern cars no longer feature a vent under the steering column. Yet another thing that us Americans have been robbed of. Just like the Honda N-Box and Slovakian Kofala that we can't get here. Have you ever owned a car with a crotch vent? What was your experience? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. But until next time, find a new way to keep your bits cool.